Good day, saints. Welcome back to uh, United Body of Christ Church. My name is LaDora. I'm the wife of Pastor Harden, and I'm back this week with another faith challenge. And this week, if you read with me, it's coming from Philippians in the New Testament, um, the second chapter. Again, Philippians chapter 2, starting at verse 3, is where we're going to get our faith challenge from this week. And it goes as follows. Let nothing be done through strife or vainglory, but in lowliness of mind, let each esteem the other or let each esteem other better than themselves. So I'm going to stop and explain that because there's more I want to read here. But when it says let nothing be done through strife and vainglory, you could have a few people or a group of people working on a project. And sometimes people will get into a strife or get into an argument and the reason they're getting into it is for vainglory because they want to know who's going to take the credit or who's going to have the limelight, who's going to be up front or who's going to get the praise and glory for it. And the scripture is telling us, telling us, let nothing be done that way. Don't let anything be done through strife and vainglory because you're fighting over who's the best or who looks the best or who's going to be up front. It says, but when we do things, do it in lowliness of mind, letting each esteem the other better than themselves. So basically, basically give somebody else some credit, give somebody else some praise, lift somebody else up. And it, ultimately, we want to glorify God in all we do. And it goes on to say, look not on every man on his own things but every man also on the things of others. So that kind of goes back to what I just said a moment ago from verse three gives, we give somebody else some credit. We know that you're sharp. We know that you got your act together. We know that you're successful. You know, we know that you may look good or you may do things real well, or you may speak well, or you may be really smart, but step back do things in lowliness of heart and mind and let somebody else take the credit. Let somebody else you know, have the limelight or better yet point and give all the credit to God. It goes on to say, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men. So, Basically, even though the Lord Jesus Christ, he knew where he came from. He knew whose son that he was, is, and he knew what he had the capability of doing. He knew that he could call down angels. He knew that he could call on his father or demonstrate his glory right there in front of everybody. But he knew his equality with the father, but he never demonstrated that as far as showing off or saying, look at me and, and look at who I am and look at what I can do. He never did that. It says he took on the form of a man, the likeness of a man. It even went so far as to say, and being found in verse eight and being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient even unto death, even the death of the cross. Now, when we think about the divinity and the glory of the Lord Jesus Christ and who he is, the, being the only begotten son of God, he was with God before he was here on the earth and before the earth ever was, he was with the Lord. He didn't have to stay up there on that cross. He could have demonstrated his power. He could have let his glory come forth. He could have come down off that cross. He could have called, like he said, 12 legions of angels, but he didn't. He became obedient. He became obedient to humility. He stepped back and he didn't do anything through, as it says here back in verse three, strife or vain glory. He took the low road. He stepped back and he, first of all, he put forth the father and let him be glorified. There was an instance when someone came up to him and called him good master and he demonstrated lowliness and humility by saying, why do you call me good? There's only one good and that's the father. And that's how we should be carrying ourselves. As it says here in verse five, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. So we want to take the low road. There's nothing wrong. Just take the back seat. Let somebody else, you know, have that glory, give that glory to God. Or if you're in a situation where you see that it's a, uh, where someone else can take some credit or someone else should be awarded or someone else should be given some recognition or something like that. And you know that I did all the work and I'm the smart one and I'm the one that put this together. And this was my idea. 
step to the back and let if someone else wants the credit and someone else wants the glory and you find that people are getting ready to start struggling and fighting over it step back let that mind of christ be in you and step back and let them have the glory or like i said better yet what we want to do is we want to give god the credit for everything um it goes on to say um again he was obedient unto death even the death of the cross Verse 9, wherefore God also has highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow of things in heaven and in earth and things in earth and things under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. One of the things that I've read in Scripture and that many of us know is that if you humble yourself under the mighty hand of God, he will exalt you. But watch, here's a catch that you may miss. He will exalt you in due time. So it it's okay to be humble. It's okay to step to the background and let the credit go to God. Let the credit go to somebody else. Step to the back. Lift somebody else up. Compliment somebody else. Pat somebody else on the back. You know, tell somebody else you're smart or tell somebody else you look great or tell somebody else you're really doing a good job. I mean, we know, like I said, we know you're fabulous, but let somebody else know that they're fabulous, too. And that is what I challenge you to do today is to be humble, to be lowly. And regardless of how much of a superstar you may be, point out somebody else's um positive traits or whatever they've done or whatever they've accomplished or their successes or whatever traits they may have that stand out that are positive point the good out in somebody else and step to the background and let somebody else have the forefront or let somebody else have the spotlight so that's my challenge to you today to lift up your brothers and sisters in christ and ultimately what this results in is the glory of God. Amen. In Christ Jesus. So that's my challenge to you today. And hopefully I'll see you next week. Amen.